The only thing that I can think of to say about this is they have President Trump to thank for having all that excess income that they can literally just throw down the drain by giving it to Peter Strzok. Oh, that's a good point. I mean, these are the true believers. Uh, you know, their goal is to delegitimize a sitting president. They're upset Hillary Clinton lost. And they loved the work that Peter Strzok was doing. I mean, they loved that, you know, he made it his mission to go after Trump. You know, some of his texts were pretty explicit saying, we'll make sure, you know, he doesn't win. And that's what a lot of these donors like. I mean, these are the hardcore, you know, left-wing uh, people that want Trump out of office. Right, and it's sad to see. I mean, like, what, what do they want our intelligence community to look like? What do they want our FBI to look like? Do they want it to be a weapon of whatever political party is in power, whoever's in the White House? Do they want that to be uh, the secret police of whatever president that can just target and silence and take down political opponents with the power of the government? That's horrifying. I mean, what we saw really was a political, an opposition, well, an opposition party, or, or I'm sorry, an incumbent party, uh, you know, uh, go after an opposition party running a campaign. I mean, you saw them permeate, the Clinton campaign permeated literally the enforcement uh, uh, wing of the executive branch and went after, made their target, the opposition campaign running to win the election. I mean, that's, that's police state tactics stuff. I mean, we see they were working together with uh, Christopher Steele and Bruce Orr had a relationship. They're obviously, they were friends. His, uh, uh, Bruce Orr's wife, Nellie, worked for Fusion GPS. Uh, you know, Glenn Simpson met with Bruce Orr. Uh, he fed, uh, uh, the, the, you know, the alleged allegation now is that he fed her, uh, or he fed, I'm sorry, he fed, what's the, the other fellow's name there? I can't think of his right, name. Right, Bruce Orr, Glenn a fake Simpson story gave about, a memory stick, allegedly, right to Bruce Orr. Bruce Orr was the number four at the Department of Justice. Glenn Simpson gave Bruce Orr information. Bruce Orr also met with Christopher Steele, who was the author of the dossier, but he didn't just meet with him, which is bad enough. He met with him after the FBI had fired Steele for not being credible, for leaking to the media. I don't quite understand. I mean, and maybe I should. Maybe this is just naivete because we're so divided politically in this nation, but I don't understand how people even on the other side of the aisle, how this isn't troubling to them, how they don't want to know the truth and whether Trump campaign officials were targeted with nefarious means and nefarious information. But to them, the truth is that Trump did collude with Russia. I mean, they're really unconcerned with anything else. I mean, they can't believe. It's an ultimate shock to them that Hillary Clinton literally lost the election. They cannot believe that somebody like Donald Trump with conservative principles, you know, fighting to secure our borders, uh, lower taxes, you know, uh, this business attitude could win an election. I mean, they're, they're shocked by it. I mean, these are the intellectuals on the coast. They live in a bubble. They don't understand the middle of the country. 